about time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's your boy TTM Reacts, and I'm back. I'm finna get straight into it. Diddy got arrested. The Diddler got arrested in this hotel. You know what I'm saying? FBI came and got that boy. We all knew it was gonna happen anyway. A few months prior. But uh, if you've been paying attention to Diddy life, or even got rumblings of it, over the course of the years that you've been alive, then you know this day was going to come for something. Whether it was murder, sex trafficking, something. He was going to be arrested for. You know what I'm saying? And Pac been telling y'all, Pimp C told y'all, a lot of real people in the industry told y'all a long time ago and people wasn't listening. He is just as worse just as bad or worse than R. Kelly, you know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure it's some more of them. And I ain't sparing nobody feelings. I'm glad Diddy got arrested. He deserve it. Then, if y'all didn't see the Cassie video, uh, when he beat her in the hall, that's crazy. Just imagine what he did behind closed doors to her at home. You know what I'm saying? Um, but let's see what, what CNN got to say about the situation. Breaking news tonight, Sean Diddy Combs has been arrested in a Manhattan hotel this evening after a grand jury indicted the music mogul. His attorney tells CNN that he is currently being processed. The charges are unclear as of this moment. Joining us now is CNN's entertainment reporter, Elizabeth Wagmeister, and also with us, CNN chief legal correspondent. Being that the charges are unclear at the moment of his arrest says a lot because the feds nor national security, or who is it? Was it national security? Came and raided his home, whoever. They don't just come raid your home off suspicion. They have factual evidence. You know what I'm saying? Um, so for them to say they um they are unclear of the current charges or the charges that he got arrested for means there's a lot to come. There's a lot to come. And uh I know he got denied bail already. Like, come on, bro. Come on, Doc. Ellie Honig. Elizabeth, you were a, a big part of revealing some details about Diddy's comment, uh, uh, conduct in private uh, over the course of the last couple of months. That video led to a lot more scrutiny on what he has been accused of. What do we know at this point about what this case might ultimately be about? Uh, At the right the moment, there. we don't know what the charges are. I have uh, information that he was arrested tonight at a Manhattan hotel. He is currently being processed. I heard from Crazy. his attorney they are still maintaining his... They cut it out, but he was kicking and stumping on it and all type of... So it ain't no telling, you know what I'm saying, what he was doing to poke Cassie behind closed doors. And uh, Cassie, I hope you get the the peace that you searching for uh, dealing with somebody as such. I hope anybody that dealt with abusive or horrible men did some horrible things to you. I hope you get justice and I hope you find the peace that you're looking for. Men too, that y'all had the abusive uh, girlfriend, wives, crazy, you know what I'm saying? Whether you man or woman, whoever you are, if you dealt with any of that in those type of situations, I hope you can heal. I hope you can heal and I hope you get justice. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. His innocence, they said that in anticipation of these charges that Diddy relocated to New York last week. And here's a statement that I have from his attorney. He says, we are disappointed with the decision to pursue what we believe is an unjust prosecution of Mr. Combs by the U.S. Attorney's Office. That's crazy. He goes on to say that he is an imperfect person, but is not criminal. Now, Abby, that video that you uh, just spoke about was a few months ago when our team broke this disturbing video of Diddy violently assaulting his ex-girlfriend, Cassandra Ventura, better known as the singer, her stage name, Cassie. Now, up until this point, when we broke this video, Diddy had denied the allegations against him. Cassie is one of Crazy. 10 civil suits against Diddy, nine of which he is accused directly of sexually assault. Up until that video, he denied everything. After that video came out, he changed his tone. He apologized for his conduct in that video. 
But I have to tell you, Abby, just as of last week, a former member of Danity Kane, which was one of the bands from Making the Band, Diddy's uh, show that was on MTV, she sued him for sexual assault and other disturbing allegations, and he denied that. So he continues the denials, and he still maintains his innocence, even though he has been arrested tonight. And, and Ali, not a huge amount of information available tonight, but Elizabeth uh, brought up something that I want you to give us a little bit of insight into. Uh, Diddy is here in New York, in Manhattan. Uh, he apparently came to here in anticipation that something like this might happen. What should we understand about what that might mean? Uh, it, it could very well be that this is uh, a federal arrest being processed here in New York. So, Abby, there are some important things we do not know, including the specific charges that have been lodged against Sean Combs. But there are some really important things we do know. First of all, based on the attorney's statement, based on our reporting, this is a federal prosecution. It's not a state prosecution. The fact that he's being processed in Manhattan tells me that's the Southern District of New York. That's consistent with the reporting that the Southern District of New York had been handling this case. That's the office I used to work at. Yeah. That's an office that sort of specializes in high stakes cases. Just in the last year or so, Southern District of New York, just as an example, has successfully prosecuted Sam Bankman Free, Senator Robert Menendez. The other thing that we do know is a grand jury has indicted Sean Combs, meaning they found probable cause that he committed at least one federal crime. Now, as yeah. to what happens next, there will be, likely tomorrow or within the next couple days, but usually in the SDNY, you try to do it the next day, there will be an arraignment, meaning Sean Combs will appear in court with his lawyers. There are no cameras in federal court. He will be advised of the charges against him, and he will almost certainly enter a not guilty plea, but the key thing to watch for is then we'll have the question of bail. Will prosecutors agree to let him out on bail? Yeah, will prosecutors ask the judge to lock him bail. up? pending trial, that could end up in a contentious argument. So these are things that are going to play out over the next 24 or 48 hours. And finally, Abby, with respect to the charges themselves, it's important to note, we've all seen that video, but assault and sexual assault are not federal crimes. Those are prosecuted in state court. So what I expect to see when we see this indictment is some sort of crime with some element of organization to it, sex trafficking, something yep. along those lines, if it's yep. based on some of the allegations we've heard. Pretty and sure. of course, back in March, uh, his homes in L.A. and in Miami were raided. Yep. Uh, all of this leading up to this moment. Elizabeth and Ellie, a lot more to this story uh, will be coming up in the coming days and weeks. No matter what type of severe asthma you have, like Suspire can help you have fewer attacks. Welcome back. Uh, I don't know what the hell it is. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, but Pac, like I said, Pac been telling people since the early 90s, you know what I'm saying? Um, Gene Simmons, which was his bodyguard, he been doing a lot of interviews over the past years. Uh, Keefe D been alluding to a lot of stuff before he got arrested, you know what I'm saying? Um, as far as stuff Diddy did in the past, they got away with. Uh, there's been people coming out that was at the club or the event that uh, Shine, which was Diddy O artist, uh, shot some dude and killed them and took the, the route for it. But one girl said it was actually Diddy that did it. Uh, there was a lot. Um, the sex trafficking thing always been around him. Uh, so maybe they got some proof for that somewhere. And... Um, but he ain't the only one. Like I said, it was R. Kelly. Uh, the rumblings of Jay-Z. Uh, and it's not just rappers. It's Ashton Kutcher. Like, and that's the weird one because I know he an advocate for fighting for child sex trafficking and protecting children. And he part of an organization. Like, this stuff get real deep. Deep to a point. Well, I had to stop looking because it was frying my brain, bro. So if you want to go off in the deep end and go digging and researching, be my guest. Go ahead. But uh, trust me, it's a lot of them. It's a lot of them. I, that's why I don't worship celebrities. You never know the true them. And I ain't even just celebrities, just people in general. I don't put too too much trust in too many people uh, for reasons as such. Uh yeah, but it's over for that boy Diddy. Rightfully so. 
rightfully so. But y'all know what to do. Go ahead, subscribe, like the video, leave your request in the comment section, and I'll get to them as soon as possible. It's been another TTM Reacts. I'm out.